Yeah, so we're in parked in Talabont on Ask Car Park. The reservoir's over there. We're going that direction up to um, Can Pika to do a wild camp. Dye's done his ankle in, so we're not sure how long he's gonna yeah. last. Hopefully, we just take yeah. our time and should be okay, but he yeah. can go the distance. We need time will tell. She was like, so we're gonna head up the peak, up the hill, etc., and then shall we go. <laughs> You see the reservoir in the background. You got Toro Voil up there somewhere up there. Done a solo camp on there before, so if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. I tell you what, what a scorching day. Lovely and sunny, nice and warm. Yeah, beautiful. Although it's going to rain tonight, but. We can live with that, as long as it's nice most of the day, then yeah, all's good. Right, slowly making our way up. Oh, me, Simon, die. Well, I think this is the, the first video the three of us have done since Gruen Vawa. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was either, it was, yeah. It was either that one or the one up in um, the Black Mountains. Yeah. A long time ago. When we dipped down, we dipped ah, down. Ah, yeah, yeah. We had your bird goes peak. Was that tender red one? That was like two Ash. years ago, I think it was. Peak wasn't it? three point uh, one. Bird goes peak three point one. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Was that two years ago? Growing flower. It's close. It's already. It's not far off. It's mad, years. isn't it? Time flies. Live it, isn't it? Two years without a video. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's wrong, <laughs> eh? <laughs> well, let's make the most of this one. Just show you where we're going. That there is Cairn Pika. I don't know if you can pick it out. There's a, a fair sized cairn on the on the top. So we're gonna pitch up there somewhere. This is a tough walk, this one. Oh. So I go inside, man. Huh? Yeah, I don't know what the temperature is. 20, is it? 20 degrees? Gotta be 20. Feels warmer now, though. And we're heading up there somewhere. Still a fair way to go, but. Plenty of time. And I got the factor 50 sun cream on. And I got nothing on. <laughs> yeah. Tremendous views from up here though, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Beautiful. Hardly any wind as well, which is a bonus. Yeah. Because normally when we go on a hill, it's always no well, it's normally windy like so. Yeah, it's good. It's a cracking day. Yeah. 
just show you where we are. Just gotta walk up onto that ridge then, and then down, back up, and then across the top. We're gonna pitch somewhere up there. So once we get up here, we've got to drop down. There's a bit of a steep incline, and then it doesn't look too bad then. Yeah, Max has told me now we forgot to bring water up here, and we just come to this pond, and it's pretty orangey, like a peaty sort of colour, and I don't think. Even with um, a filter, I'd fancy drinking this. But luckily for him, I brought two litres of water, so we should have enough to go round. Just having a sit down, rehydrate, and that there, where is it, that, that way, there, that is the last steep bit of this hike hopefully, oh, get up there, and then walk around that way, get to the can, and try and find a cracking pitch tonight. That's what we want, somewhere nice and flat. So we can just chill out. Hopefully get a sunset. I don't think the sunrise is on the cards because it's forecast rain at 12 o'clock tonight. And that carries on through until the morning. Well, it's about nine o'clock, I think it is. So, yeah, today's the best day. Whew. Absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go to the Beehive Cairn of Pika, which is over there and hopefully we're going to find um, enough flat area to pitch three tents for the night. So yeah, this walk is almost over. It's been pretty, uh, it's been pretty strenuous, especially in this heat. So yeah, we're going to like you said, walk over there and find a, a suitable pitch.
coming to the head right. Yeah, so there's the beehive shaped can of Kanpika. It's a nice looking thing, but um, if I bring it around this side, you can see where I read on Google that um, somebody's vandalized this one side, they've just taken all the rocks out and just threw them down the hill. You can see, you can see them all scattered around. And if that's true, that's just, well, it's a shame because it's just senseless, you know, just wrecking that and just chucking it down there. I just don't don't see any sense in that whatsoever. Yeah, so we've come from Camp Peak and there's nothing suitable over there. And I'm coming back to where I camped before, uh, about a year and a half ago, I think it was. And uh, yeah, this is all a plane wreckage. I think from the, Can the Wellington Canadian bomber. The crash just over or just down that ridge there is a, is a memorial stone and uh, there's wreckage down there I'm assuming this came off the same plane but I could be wrong it's in the same area so we must have scattered, they might have scattered the beard as well so um, I think where Mark's standing there that's where we're going to pitch a tent over there Got a scarf one, my tap tent. Simon's in his um, six moon designs, Luna Solo. Just a single skin tent with a trekking pole, similar to a lantern. And Di got his tab 10 scarf on as well. Di's flying his drone. And that's not a bad view for the night, is it? Pen of Van Condy over there. So we're having a beer now. And that is well, well earned, I must say. That was one hell of a hike up here today. I think it took us four hours in this time. Four hours? Crazy. But, thing is, like, we had to 
gave Dolly a bit of um, a bit of help. He got a bad ankle, so yeah, we just took our time, and here we are. It's where we pitched, like I said, and over the edge there, you got the memorial of the Canadian bomber crash just down there and then up that way a little way there's um, even more wreckage yes yeah, so I'm using my six moon designs Luna Solo um, as Mark said it's a single skin lightweight tarp tent um, I'll show you a couple of things I've done to it you can probably see where I've seam sealed all around the top I've done all the seams going down I've done the ones on the zippers um, it's a really lightweight uh, single skin tent it's okay um, I don't think I've pitched it correctly since I've had it I've tried all ways of doing it I can't seem, seem to get it right um, it does say that it's got a bath a bathtub floor but as you can see, it don't even look like a bathtub floor. It's just not raised on the sides at all. But I can never get this right. So if anyone's ever used one of these tents and can give me some advice on pitching, because I've looked on, in, on the internet, um, on YouTube, and I've seen people pitching these, but I've, I'm, I can never get this bathtub flooring right. So... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice lightweight shelter, but it's not without its you know issues. And uh, I might do uh, a review on this in a coming in uh, in, in, a, in a future video. So uh, look out for that one. Yeah, well, a cracking view over there. Absolutely stunning. So tonight's menu is the Wayfarers boil in a bag chili and rice. So I'm gonna boil some water in a jet boil. You know the rest, you've seen all this before. And uh I'm gonna take into this. Yeah, just had the the wayfarer chili and rice. Got to be fair, really tasty. Um, could be a little bit spicier, but uh, overall nice, nice and tasty. And the only other thing, it could be they could put a bit more in there. Maybe it's a three hundred gram. If that was a five hundred gram, they'd be onto a winner. It's really nice though. I recommend that one. Give it a go. Yeah, so we've had food now. Just gonna relax now and uh, admire this fantastic view. And I pan around to the north, northwest. Sky is on fire. We got this cracking sunset going on over there and uh I was near two minutes ago just come up. I'm not it's sure like if his camera does it justice but it looks absolutely stunning.
Right, we're all in our tents now. Had a good day, good night actually. Been a good, very good camp out. And a well needed catch up, so yeah. We're all in our tents now. Anyway, good night guys. Good night guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining in. <laughs> and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning. I think it's quarter to eight and we've slept right through. Had a really good night's sleep and my pitch anyway is flat and I haven't slid off the mat once all night, which was a bonus. It's rained most of the night and I'll just show you this. Because I've not had my um, tent seam sealed, water has come in and you can see it on top of the inner tent. A bit more there and up there. It hasn't been dripping on me all night, but it is an issue. I wish I'd um, had this seam sealed in the factory now before they sent it to me. But I tried to save a bit of money and do it myself, but it's having the time to do it, isn't it, you know? But that's something I've got to do now. When we get a couple of dry days, I'm going to stick it up. Uh, give it a good going over with a sill net. Seam sealer. Yeah. Apart from that, it's been alright. Let's have a look outside, is it? See what the, what the weather looks like. Uh, not the best, is it? Beautiful day yesterday. <laughs> Look at Simon's tent. He's taking a bit of a beating. <laughs> but not that windy though, really. Maybe just just needs um, tightening up on the on the die outs, tie outs even on the pegs. Yeah, so rain stopped now, but it's, it rains on and off, so what we're going to have to do is uh, pack away, pull that bedding down, stick it in the pack, and then do the tent last and just strap it to the bottom of the, my rucksack. morning. We've had some rain, some heavy rain as well. Um, you can see the cloud coming in now again. As it comes, a bit of rain and it goes, comes again. This valley was clear about five seconds ago and now it's starting to fill up with cloud again. Yeah but anyway, um, and I could not sleep in the uh, six moons. Sound solo, no solo. Bit of conversation on the inside, I'll get the trumpets and my head for the night. So. But overall, it, it performed quite well, so yeah, I'm happy with it at the moment. see him now but there's a, there's a tent on that ridge over there, it's a bright green tent. You can't see it now because the clouds just moved in. And we said there was seven there last night, they've gone, so we're gonna have a cup of coffee as normal. And then back up man. Yeah, but it's been an enjoyable one this again, another good camp up. Yeah. 
lots of very inquisitive sheep here as well. Right, let's have a brew. Let's have a brew. Please, sir, may I have some water? Because <laughs> 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 you forgot yours. Because some forgot water. Yeah, oh, sorry, Simon got some. Well, he better have. <laughs> uh, let's have a coffee now and <coughs> have a porridge as well. You've... Yeah, I got a porridge. Want to borrow some water for that as well? <laughs> We're gonna have a coffee. Just want to show you these new approach shoes I got. Made by La Sportiva. La Sportiva Akasha, I think it is. And I bought these from an ex workmate called Gareth. So if you're watching Gareth, thanks Gareth. I gave him a go yesterday and really comfortable. Yes, yeah, so I'll take them. I tried them before I bought them and the check will be in the post. Cheers mate. Tents are all down now. That's where mine was. That's where Simon's was. Dye was over there. Nothing left behind as usual. And we're gonna head on out of here now. We're gonna take a different route. So when we came up on. So in effect we're doing a full circular walk as well. So yeah, I'll show you a bit of that on the way back down. Where we come from down there, follow the path. Just gonna make our way back down, back down to the reservoir, and back to the camper vans. Really enjoyable camp that was. Good to see Di again. Like we said yesterday, we haven't been on a camp with him for a while, so yeah, it's great to have a catch up. Yeah, really good. Right, back on the road now. Just come through that gate. From up that way. We just follow this road now down back to the car park. God, I love a walk, eh? Whew. Gladly, it's all downhill. Right, let's wait for these two. Yeah, yeah, I know. Awesome camp back, guys, wasn't it? Okay. Good yep. laugh, good laugh. Like. Awesome. Great to have a catch up again with Di. Cheers, yeah. Di. Thanks Cheers. for coming. Yeah, so we'll see you again on the next one.
Nice enough. Take it easy, guys.